Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to easily create the long shadow text effect in Adobe Photoshop. You might have seen this effect in Netflix's intro sequence. It's personally one of my favorite effects and it's very simple to make so let's just get straight into it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is create a background layer. So you just want to press a new layer to fill in your background. You can press alt or control backspace. And depending on what colors you have selected here, it'll fill in that color. So if you press alt backspace, it fills in the background with the foreground color and the background color is control backspace. So I'm just going to choose red because it's my favorite color and we're going to press alt backspace and we should be good. But I already have that selected. So um, now we're going to type in our text. So ideally you would want the text to be white and the shadow to be black just because you want some sort of contrast. So I'm just going to uh, type in create. I'd also recommend using a tall font right now. I think I'm using gold bold. I'll link this in the description. And now you want to press control J to duplicate the layer. And you want to make this layer black now. Next, you want to press control T while you're selecting the black layer and you want to change the angle to 45. Basically, this will be the shadow and it'll sort of stretch from this point to the corner. I'm just gonna hide the white layer so you can see the shadow layer. Now, all you wanna do is press Alt and arrow key. So the shadow is going to the left side, so I'm gonna press Alt left key. And you wanna do this like 100 times. You can see that there is 108 copies your um, laptop or PC might lag a little bit, so take that in mind. So basically, I want to merge all these layers together. So you want to click on the first layer and you want to hold shift and click on the last layer. And basically, it'll select all of them so you don't have to do them individually. So once again, um, click on the first layer, hold shift and click on the last layer. And now you can press Control E or Control G to group them or merge them. So I'm going to press Control E to merge. Um, and now I'm going to show the white layer. So right now you're probably wondering like where the hell is the shadow? Um, all you want to do now is you want to press control T and now you want to adjust the angle again. So if you typed in 45 degrees before you would do negative 45. And if you did negative 45 starting off, you would do 45. And now you just want to line it up with the text. So you just want to make sure, so you want to just make sure that it lines up right at the vertice and you can see it doesn't stretch all the way to the corner which you want so you can just press ctrl j and just duplicate it a bunch of times or instead of doing this you could have just duplicated it uh, a bunch more times initially so that the shadow would have been longer um, and now you want to merge all these layers so these are just the shadow layers and then you just want to lower the opacity if you have to and yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and check out the playlist in the description where there's more Photoshop tutorials like this. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.